Hortonville is uh, a number one place to work. Great customers. I guess I said that before, the customers become your friends and that's, that's very unusual. A Fox Valley man estimates he's given more than 100,000 haircuts since first becoming a barber. Can you believe he's 91? I, that's what I thought too. He like, looks what? awesome. He just <laughs> opened at the age of 91 this Ooh. new shop in Hortonville. Tonight in Small Towns, Jeff Alexander pays a visit to Bob's Old Fashioned Barber Shop. We'll take some off of this stuff, huh? Take quite a bit. Yeah. yeah. Give Bob Roloff a customer in his barber chair and some clippers in his hand, and there's no place he'd rather be. I tried to retire once and <laughs> when I was in Arizona, and it was about a month or so, and I went and got a haircut and said to my wife, she said, you got a haircut? And I said, yeah, I got a haircut. But I said, I'm going to work on Monday, too. She said, are you out of your mind? We're out here to be retired. I said, I, I can't. Growing up in Black Creek, Bob received his haircuts as a boy from his dad, who owned a barber shop for 55 years. By the time Bob was 16, he was following in his father's footsteps. And I served my apprenticeship through him. Started in 1948. I was in high school. Three years later, Bob had his license and worked for his dad for more than 15 years. At the age of 35, he bought a barber shop in Appleton. The old Han Bowling Alley building called the Appleton Barber Shop. There for about uh, 11 years. Sold that to a young lady from Michigan, and we went out to Arizona. After working for a barber shop there for a while, and with a retirement out of the question, Bob bought his own shop in Sun City. 18 years in Arizona eventually proved to be enough, and Bob and his wife moved back to the Fox Cities. But he couldn't trim barbering from his blood, and in 2012, Bob stopped by Moira Shimpke's shop in Hortonville. He came into the shop that one day, and I thought he was in for a haircut, but he was in for a job. So we got him hired right away. <laughs> For the next 10 years, Bob kept at it, reaching milestone birthdays and celebrating them by cutting hair. He also kept a secret thought in the back of his mind. I, to myself, said if I ever get the chance, because I've always had my own shop, the right combination comes along, I will start a shop yet. I didn't tell my family or nothing because I knew they wouldn't agree. This past spring, Bob met Mark Carwike, a barber in Escanaba looking to return to the Fox Valley. Within an hour after meeting, they made a deal, shook hands, and a few months later, opened Bob's old-fashioned barber shop on Main Street. He came back down with the barber chairs and some equipment, and we started shop. Well, always, since I got out of barber school, I, w I wanted to work with a, uh, an established barber, an older barber, kind of pick up some hints, know what to do. And uh, we've been doing that. Even, even back and forth, he's asked me, well, how do you do this? And I'm like, um, well. <laughs> Moira, who closed her shop and joined the crew, is amazed at Bob's continued passion and longevity. Oh, I'll never make it to 91, that's for sure. <laughs> Since opening in early June, Bob's shop has become a hit. We have a tremendous amount of uh, new customers. One of the things I did say is that I, I'm, I have a good senior trade and we have a senior price. And I said to a lot of my seniors here that as long as I'm working, I'm gonna keep those prices. We charge 12 bucks for a senior haircut and 14 for an adult and uh, it's been good. After all these years, Bob says he enjoys cutting hair more than ever, but his greatest joy remains. Looks like the business has been good too, huh? Yeah. The interaction with his customers. Visiting and meeting new customers and. I get bored sitting at my, in my home, and I enjoy the two or three days I'm over here. It's just, it's fun. Sometimes I sit around here and I let Mark work and I just visit when they come in, you know. And now that he's just started a business, just how long does Bob plan to stick around? I like what you just said, I'm just starting. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I have no set time. As far as standing here and cutting hair, that doesn't bother me. Am I, I don't have any arthritis and I, you know, so why not work? I just feel good working. 
Well, as you can tell, 75 years after first becoming a barber, Bob is now aiming for at least 80 years under his belt. And with Mark and Moira by his side, don't be surprised to see it happen. In Hortonville with photojournalist Michael Bergman, I'm Jeff Alexander for Small Towns. He'll he's, be cutting hair when he's 100. He's amazing. <laughs> he truly is. Good for you and continued great business. Senior haircut price, huh? <laughs>